Show. That sound can mean only one thing. Whoops. It's time to get up. But how would the Mr. Men and Little Misses know the time if not for their clocks? Yes, the good people of Dillydale do love their clocks. Apart from Mr. Grumpy. You see, Mr. Grumpy hates to get up early, but sometimes it's necessary. And when it is, he needs an alarm clock that's loud enough to wake him up. Here you go, Mr. Grumpy. I made it myself. Thank you very much, Miss Helpful. As I told you, my alarm clock somehow got broken. These things happen. Now be sure to set it for the right time. That would be 6 a.m. I'm going to a fishing contest tomorrow and I have to be there early. No problem. Here's how you set it. Mm -hmm. Then you'll hear this. Mm. Good morning, Mr. Mm. Grumpy. Time to mm. rise and shine. That's the alarm. You couldn't have just made it beep. <laughs> just trying to be helpful. Good luck with your fishing contest. Good morning, uh. Mr. Grumpy. Mm. Time. Oh, I hate the morning. Oh, boy. Oh, where's the soap? Hello, Mr. Grumpy! Scatterbrain? Oh, what time is it anyway? Well, when a clock chimes one, it means it's one o'clock. One o'clock in the morning? That's too early to get up. I wanted to sleep until six. But now's the best time to use the pogo stick. <laughs> Ta-da! Hello. Miss Helpful, it's Mr Grumpy. Your alarm clock just went off. Oh, that's terrible. Are you sure you set it correctly? Yes, but I'll try again. Good night. Good morning, Mr Grumpy. <laughs> Time to get up. Mm. Ah, there's the soap. Mm. Oh. Oh. Hello, Mr. Grumpy. It's only three in the morning. Miss Helpful's alarm clock is a load of rubbish. You seem upset. I am Mr. Scatterbrain. I have to get up early for a fishing contest and I'll never wake up without an alarm clock. I could be your alarm clock. Oh, what do you know about being a clock? <laughs> What's not to know? Never mind. If you really think you can do it, just... Well, just wake me up at six in the morning, on the dot. Got it. Six in the morning. <laughs> cock a doodle do. Huh? Huh? cock a doodle OK, OK, I get that point. Oh, scatterbrain! Oh, good, you're up. <laughs> hmm. I was afraid you didn't hear me. I heard you, and so did all these chickens. What time is it? Eight in the morning. Why? What? I missed the fishing contest. Why didn't you wake me up? You were sleeping so peacefully. I didn't want to disturb you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I think I'll go home and go to bed. Toodaloo! Oh, so much for my good mood. Ah, ah, <laughs> crooked cucumbers. <laughs> it 
If you're like Mr. Quiet, sometimes even the gentle ticking of a clock can be too loud. And then there's Mr. Noisy, who likes things, well, noisy. Hello Ooh. there, Mr. Quiet. Kind of late to be out, isn't it? Uh, yes, kind of. I've had a power cut. Awfully dark over there. Need a place to spend the night? Uh, yeah, if it's not Come trouble. on in. Oh, 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 nice. I love having guests. Oh, you'll be needing a clock. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. OK, nighty night. Oh, so tired. Hmm? Oh, 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 too slow. Some sleep now. Ah! Oh, oh. Oh, I didn't know you were up, Mr. Quiet. Oh, just getting a glass of water. I couldn't sleep either. Hey, since we're both up, why don't we play some drums? You can have the bongos. Oh. From time to time, clocks can get broken. And when that happens, everyone calls Mr. Tickle's Clock Repair Service. It's just wonderful that you're available to fix the clock, Mr. Tickle. No problem, Mr. Happy. I brought my new assistant, Mr. Bump, along to help. I just love getting my hands inside a broken clock and working out where all the pieces go. Mm. Marvellous! Then you'll have no trouble fixing the Clock Tower! <laughs> clock Tower? You know, when I got into the clock repair business, I thought I'd be fixing clocks in a nice, safe workshop. Not 500 feet off the ground! Don't worry, I'll be there to help. And give you a tickle. <laughs> oh, I can see that you two were made for this job. That does not look like fun. Everything's fun with a tickle. <laughs> Please, Mr. Tickle. I don't want anything to happen while we're climbing to the top. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ow. Like that. Or oh, that. Wow, that's a long way down. I know what will take your mind off it. A tickle! No, maybe we better just get to work. Uh, Mr Tickle, what would be the first thing a clock repair person would do in a situation like this? I've never worked on a clock this big. But I bet a tickle would work. <laughs> Somehow I don't think it will. Maybe you need to get closer to the hands of the clock. Uh, ah! Oh! You okay up there? Uh, <laughs> depends on what you call okay. Hmm. Could you use a tickle? Oh, oh, no, not really. Not right now. Whoa, safety last. Whoa, phew, big second thoughts about this job. Phew, go! Get away, Pigeon! Not a good time! Hang on! I can fix everything with a tickle! <laughs> Stop! No! Poopity poop! Oh! That was lucky! Ow! See, Mr. 
Mr. Bump. All it needed was a good tickle. <laughs> So you see, clocks play an important role in our lives. Good morning, Mr. Grumpy! Time! Without them, how could we tell the time? Assuming the clock works, of course. Ah! Like that one. 